Happy Tuesday! Welcome to another Tuesday Tune-In for Cohort 2 of the Online Course Redesign and Faculty Certification Program for Fall 2022. Uh, uh, thanks a lot, everybody. It's good to see you. I hope you're enjoying your week thus far. I hope you had a good Halloween. Uh, I sat on my front porch and then, then added my daughter and I moved to the driveway and we handed out candy uh, to all those nice little goblins and gremlins and uh, guardians of the galaxy and everything else that came by the, the house last night. So. Hope you had a good Halloween and hope you're not uh, suffering from a sugar coma. <laughs> anyway, uh, I want to tell you how wonderful um, the connections that I've seen being made in the uh, Elements of Design or UDL unit, unit that you're in now. The Elements of Design and then connecting those to the, uh, the journal activity and your, um, your workbook submission and uh, your discussion post, even your, your letter to a friend. Uh, so I, I really uh, value the experiences that you're sharing. You're making connections that I think are important to make um, when it comes to teaching in this environment. Uh, being that universal design is designed for everybody. So when I do UDL, everybody benefits, not just the student that might have an accessibility issue or whatever. Everyone in the course benefits. I think back to the, the mobile student who wants to be able to the student who commutes, that listens to notes in the car, right? Because that's a, a good use of their time, right? Um, or the student that needs a translation or has a, a dyslexic issues. And so we have either Beeline Reader or the Immersive Reader that can help with either of those uh, from the standpoint of um, those elements of design. But I digress, I'm just impressed. And remember, even though the due date for that was Sunday, you can submit them late. No one's gonna take away your birthday. Uh, coming up, we have our student learning outcomes. Super important unit. Uh, I can't wait to see what you share there um, uh, that we'll be hitting on. So uh, this week of the, the 31st through the third, the due date being the third on learning outcomes, uh, you've got your workbook. Uh, there's a, uh, uh, also the replies for the elements of design discussion are due. So if you haven't replied yet for that, you definitely get those in uh, by, by Thursday. Uh, and then your SLO assignment. Uh, that's, that's that where you get to actually work on some and share them out, or if you have them already, share them out. But make sure to go through the unit because it talks about some important stuff, right? Are, are, those, um, are those SLOs measurable? Are they actionable? Can a student do them? Am I not just student will learn or student will know? How am I, how am I quantifying or qualifying uh, is student will discuss, student will analyze, student will you know, that, that action verb that can be measured, that's super important when we come down to those, to those SLOs. So think about that when you're thinking about your assignments. Uh, speaking of assignments, this gives us a good segue into something that you find yourself doing, right, when you teach classes, finding moments in a course environment where you can say, so you know what, we're a little falling short in this little area, so let's talk about it. And so I'm going to do that now. Um, I, uh, a couple of things, I'm gonna show you two things. First. Make sure when you're doing your uh, journal assignments. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my modules and go to um, uh, go to my student preview and start my preview. And then I'm going to go to um, uh, module uh, and I know Elements of Design has a journal in it, so I'm going to go to journal. Journal entries should just be typed in this box or pasted in this box. I don't, don't attach a file. Uh, journals don't have the ability for me to inline grade, so I then have to download the file, and it just takes longer for me to get you back your grades, and I wanna be efficient and get you everything that you need uh, coming out of it. So go ahead and just type in your journal entries or paste them. You can, you can type them in Word, but paste them back in this box here, right? So go ahead and just you know type, type the entry here, right? that would be very beneficial and helpful as we move forward through the course. Next thing, uh, we have another assignment uh, that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to exit my student preview and get you to that we've had some issues with. So you're going to note, you will always know that if your grade is not complete, if you don't have a full credit for the grade, if I give you like a one instead of a three, that means you need to come back and resubmit. Check your feedback for me because I'll give you specifics. But in specific for this unit, uh, this unit had some assignments that um, I think are going to be uh, uh, instructions that were pretty, I think, pretty good, but I want to go over them again. Uh, one of them was the, the image upload assignment. 
And in this assignment, um, I actually even give you instructions on how to embed uh, an image in, a, in the area, and we tell you where to go. So we want you to go to your, 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 uh, your template course, right? The course where you're an instructor, the one that we gave you for this cohort. We want you to go to module three, applications of subject matter. Now, some of you have already built out it and you put the image in there and I found it, that's not a problem. But go in there and in your course redesign template course, add that image in that unit so that I can see that you've embedded an image inside of a document. It's important. And I'm gonna walk you through that process now so you can see how it works, right? But make sure that you read the instructions fully uh, before you submit the assignment and that way you can get full credit immediately and you don't have to wait, right? So let's go to that template course, right? I'm gonna to go to my version of that template course. And uh, here it is. Ta-da! I'm gonna to go to my modules. I'm gonna to go to applications of subject matter, which is module three. I'm then going to write, right after, I'm gonna put mine here right after module objectives, right? So this is where I'm gonna stick mine. I'm gonna hit plus and I'm gonna create a document. I'm gonna show you two ways you can do it, but the document's the best way because you can add context. So uh, click document and let's call this um, a graphic example. Then I'm gonna choose add content down here in this little box. And here's where I can, I can type in some filler text, right? Like the text that will, that will tell my students what's coming, right? So this is like preparing students for graphic they are about to see. Letting them have some context. Maybe some highlights on what to focus their attention, right? And then adding the image. Adding an image, easy breezy process. Go to your attach button right up here, the little paper clip. Go and find an image. You may not have seen, or you, you saw it, uh, but uh, you may not have seen what popped up. So now that I've added that image, I use that attach, I searched my computer for the image. I'm gonna give that image alt text, super important for accessibility. So photo of a magnifying glass. I don't want them to download it. I just want them to view it. They don't have to download it. Hit save. Now I've added this image here uh, in the course. It's a vector image, so I already know it's it's not large. It's not going to be a heavy one. Uh, you do want to keep in mind that some files that I've seen uploaded, the images are like the size of Massachusetts, right? So if you ever embed an image like that in your course, if a student's on a phone, they're going to have to download that entire image to see it, and that could take time. So what I like to do is I always like to have a smaller version of the image embedded, and then a link or where they can just download the image or attach it. And so instead of viewing, just allowing them to download it instead, uh, if it's super large. But I always do a smaller preview image so they can actually kind of get an idea of what that image is and then get the full version if it's that big. Just an accessibility feature, just a universal design feature to think about. But once I've added that image, I can then just hit save. And then it's there. And then now, I could come in now and you see in my module three applications of subject matter, my first item is the module objectives and my second item is the graphic example. I could turn on my student preview. Oh, it's hidden. Darn it, let me exit. Exiting the preview. I could go back down to my modules, go to module three, make sure that I have that visible for my students. Just to, this is for me to preview it as a student, for instance, right? And then now go to start preview. Go back to module three. And then as a student, I could start here on that right here. Then, oh, there's a graphic example. I could hit my right arrow and boom. They've got text. They've got the image right there. It's there. Uh, there is another way to add an image in your unit. Uh, 
but it doesn't afford you as much context. I can't do a lot with it. When you add a document, you almost turn it into a web page. You can have pictures, links, the whole nine yards, right? Uh, attachments. I could also, in module three, instead of attaching it in a document, I could, but the instructions here for you are attaching it in a document, but I'm showing you the secondary one. I want you to follow the document instructions, but um, let me get out of the student preview. Go back to modules, go to module three. I could just underneath graphic example, hit the plus button and do upload. And then uh, go with a picture, right? So um, there's one, open. I'm writing in the alt text now, and it's saved. Now, uh, visible. Now, when I were to click on it, it also shows up. This is an attachment of an image that's there, right? So this would be one way I could have a larger image that they'd have to click on to look at that's not embedded with the text. But notice when I add it that way, there's no way for me to add any text or context around the image that's there, right? So that's why I the assignment calls for you, and nine out of 10 times, I prefer just adding it in a document. So I'm gonna hit delete. Uh, but that graphic example is, is, is how I want that assignment to be turned in. So make sure uh, to follow those instructions on the Word document, or just follow the instructions in this video and create your, uh, your, your uploaded image. Uh, other than that, y'all, have a great day. Uh, we're, believe it or not, we're, we're hitting the mid, mid stretch almost here. So um, uh, we're now at the point where we're almost halfway through. We're halfway through and uh, just get those things in as you can. Uh, keep looking at the feedback that we provide. Uh, we're trying also to reply to your, like, your discussions. I had some fun uh, memes that I added to my discussion replies. See if you can look for them uh, see, uh, and let me know if you like them. Uh, it's one of the things that I like doing in discussions as an instructor is to meme my replies on occasion when I like them. Uh, uh, and sometimes when I just to be funny, uh, but it adds a little personalization to the course, if you will. So anyway, everybody have a great day. Uh, I hope to, I hope you get to keep pushing through and I, I enjoy and I look forward to learning from you as you make progress through the cohort.